Professor Hallux's eye guide with the Association of British Dispensing Opticians. Blast! What's happened now, Professor? Well, I was trying to get a good look at these marvellous midget microbes under my Magno 1 million microscope. Took my specs off to have a good look down the eyepiece, and I've only gone and sat on them. Oh, they were lovely too. Pink and purple stripes. They went with everything. Well, they've gone now. We'd better go and see Sally Specs. She's a dynamic dispensing optician. Brilliant! Wow! Look at all the glasses in here. There's hundreds. Metal frames, plastic frames. Oh, look, nurse. Carbon fibre frames. They'll look cool with my bike. Wow! Look back here, nurse. Look at all these colours they have. There's even some stripy ones. Hi there. Can I help? The professor sat on his glasses this morning and snapped them. They're just too broken to fix, so we've come to get some replacements. Brilliant place you've got here, but too much choice. Where do we start? A bit like clothes, spectacle frames come in a variety of sizes, so I'll need to make sure that the frames fit you comfortably. Come and sit down and let's try some on. <coughs> oh. What have you sat on now? Just a packet of cheese and onion crisps. Doesn't matter, I like crispy crumbs. Right, pop these frames on. Let's see how well they fit. OK. Ideally, the top edge of the frame should be no higher than your eyebrows. That makes sense. If your eyes are above your eyebrows, you're probably standing on your head. The lower edge of the frames shouldn't sit on your cheeks, even when you smile. That might be pretty annoying and might rub. Hmm, these ones keep sliding down my nose. The bit that fits your nose is called the bridge. Its design and position are key to a comfortable fit. Now, some glasses have adjustable bridges, but others, especially in plastic frames, can be rigid. If they don't sit properly on your nose, then they might not be the right choice. Let's try some others. I haven't got time to keep shoving my specs up. Right, let's have a look at you. The size should be in proportion to your face. If you have a small face, you won't want to choose glasses that are too large. Generally, the width of the frames shouldn't be wider than the overall width of your face at the temples. That's the sides of your forehead. Look at these ones, nurse. Super cool or what? They're far too big. They make you look like you're in a cartoon on TV. In fact, they're as large as our TV. Hmm. Well, looking at the shape of your head and given your lab coat, the type of work you do, I think we should start over here. Some rather groovy new ones designed by Kitty Perry. Hmm. Isn't she a pop star? What does she know about glasses? A lot of frames today are designed in association with famous celebrities and designers. Sometimes they're similar to the one celebrities wear and may have designers or celebrities' names on. Remember, it's not just about looking good. First and foremost, it's important that they're a good fit. Hmm, how do these look on me, nurse? They look quite fetching. Definitely the young professor about town. <coughs> but they look like they're also sliding down your nose. Maybe your nose is just... Super skinny? Let's take a few measurements and we can order you a pair that's just right for the shape and size of your head. First of all, I'm going to measure your PD. My what? Pupillary distance. It's the distance between your eyes. I need to make sure that whatever frames you get, the optical centres of the lenses are positioned correctly in front of your eyes. Otherwise, your vision isn't likely to be as it should be. To ensure the distance between the lenses is right, I'll also want to measure the width of the bridge. It should be comfortable, too tight, and the glasses could pinch your nose, too loose, and the glasses won't be stable on your face. Then I need to measure how long the sides of the frame should be. They need to be long enough to sit comfortably over your ears. Sometimes we can adjust them a little more or less to make a comfy fit, but it depends on the specs. Some can't be changed at all, and so may not be suitable at all. Measure away. That's done. Let's have a look at your eye test prescription that Simon Squint gave you. OK, I see that you've a slight short-sightedness. We'll need to get some concave lenses to correct that. Concave? That sounds like a French cave I once visited. The formidable concave chouet. It's just one of two basic types of lenses that are used. Concave to correct short sight and convex for long sight. Concave lenses are generally thinner in the centre than they are at the edge, whilst convex lenses are usually thinner at the edge than at the centre. Then we're ready to make some specs, right? Not quite. You see, lenses are the most important part of the glasses and there are many other things to choose. You can have glass lenses or more commonly plastic ones and there are coatings to help stop annoying reflections too. We can even make them into sunglasses with dark tints. 
Hmm. The professor bumps into enough things as it is. Wearing sunglasses indoors sounds like a bad idea. Yes, as the name suggests, sunglasses should only be worn in bright sunlight. Okay, right. That's everything I need for now. I'll get your glasses ordered. When you come in to collect them, there'll probably be a few minor adjustments to make sure they fit just right. Oops. Sorry. The sooner I get my new specs, the better. And all that information about how glasses work can go into the eye guide. Let's get it uploaded. Processing paper. Upload complete. Oh, before you go, Professor, have you got time for a further quick fact for the eye guide? I don't see why not. Well, not all glasses have sides that go over your ears. A famous type of glasses that was very popular in the 19th and 20th century was the pince nez, which means pinch nose, and that's how they stayed on. That's incredible, both eye-watering and inspiring. Professor Hallux's eye guide with the Association of British Dispensing Opticians. Find out more and get hands-on at funkidslive.com slash Hallux.